doing a problem on code forces kefa in the park uh let's see what the problem statement is you have been given uh two numbers n and m n is basically the number of vertex in a tree basically you have been given a tree uh n is the number of vertex in a tree m is a you know special number which we'll talk about later it is something like you know a maximum number of consecutive cats that can exist in a path that is <coughs> that path is still okay for kefa we'll uh, discuss about that what is this path then you have been given uh, n numbers basically zero or one only zero means that uh, at a particular vertex there is not cat and one means at a particular vertex there is a cat and then you have been given n minus one edges basically to create a tree that's what it is because if you have n node ka graph then there should be n minus one edges then it will become a tree you know uh, yeah it will be a connected tree basically this is a thing like this is a graph but it's not a cyclic that's why they have specifically mentioned n minus one edges so it's not a cyclic graph yeah and uh, yeah that's about it come now you need to tell the problem statement is that you know the kefa house is at vertex one so kefa will start traveling from vertex one he has to reach uh, until this you know leaf nodes he has to reach uh, one of these leaf nodes so uh, uh, yeah he can reach two three four but he can only reach that leaf node for example two or three uh, which have you know a uh, less number of uh, uh, consecutive vertex so that in this path from uh, one to leaf path for example one to three there should not be k amount of consecutive vertex that have cat right m amount of consecutive vertex that have cat so m is equal to one over here so there should not be uh, any uh, you know one consecutive yo at most at most one host there okay there should not be greater than m vertices consecutive vertices should have cat so basically if k is equal to m is equal to one so uh, in a path from uh, this root node to leaf node uh, that path should not contain greater than two consecutive vertex that have cat that is simply basically it is so now cat is represented uh, by this red basically so one and two has cat so basically there are two cats in a way between one and two two consecutive cats okay one out फिर टू पे कैट नहीं होती थ्री पे कैट होती दिट वॉज स्टिल फाइन बिकॉज कंजिक्यूटिवली ओनली वन कैट इज देयर कंजिक्यूटिव कैट्स टू शुड नॉट बी देयर सो वन टू फोर इज स्टिल गुड Uh, this is basically k is equal to still one you know k is equal to still one means you cannot uh, have you can have at most one uh, one consecutive vertex having a cat you cannot have two consecutive vertices having a cat which is in this case one and three is having cat so this six and seven is not possible but still one to four is possible because this cat is not at a consecutive vertices okay a cat is at basically there is two which doesn't have a cat so this one to four is a valid path for me because the consecutive amount of cat is still one and that's about it that you have to do so you will start from this one dfs ni go to every leaf node and check in the path if your uh, amount of consecutive cat is greater than m you will just return from that path you will not go beyond that part uh yeah that's about it so let's take in n k i'm taking k and then uh up cross uh, c in not basically c in uh For int i is equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus c in c of i. This is c of i represents whether there is a cat or not. Okay, one or zero they have been given, and I will be declaring it as a global vector int c. Before that, I need to resize the c dot resize something like n. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, after that, I'll be creating you know int i is equal to zero. I less than n minus one. I plus plus take two numbers in a comma b and c in a comma b. Uh, and where is basically there is a path from uh, a to b. So g of a dot push back b and similarly, you know, there is a path from b to a. now as you can see uh, we have to uh, do it zero indexing so a minus minus b minus minus and create this uh, graph again let's copy this vector int vector of vector int g and g dot resize n
that's about it now this graph is created you have taken this cat vector graph and nnc let's yeah take this also as a global variable in nnc and uh, now you know this is a tree so there is no possibility for graph you can have your uh, visited vector either or you can just uh, do it by using parent i will prefer to have a visited vector so visited dot resize again n comma initially all are not visited then you will start your dfs from uh, which node zero you will start and uh, because i made it zero indexing a minus minus b minus minus and you will say uh, k uh, not k k is there okay let's write your dfs function first okay yeah, void dfs int starting vertex and uh, int basically you have been providing it something like number that uh so visit or of sv is equal to one curling yeah, yeah. then hum kya karenge? if uh, this g of sv dot size is equal to equal to zero which means this is a leaf node uh, not exactly no 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 for this we'll create int okay theke? okay is equal to zero okay uh, or let's say okay is equal to one then let's say for in a flag variable this is basically a flag variable initially one now this is for auto i in g of sv all the adjacent nodes you will say if it's currently not visited then go visit this how will you visit this you will call dfs of i and m now the thing is that m is basically number of consecutive vertex containing cat that has existed till now okay it is basically the keeping the counter key whether this okay so for example where here we will start from something like c of zero if there is a cat it will be you know one if there is not a cat at first position it will be zero like in the examples as you can see there is a cat at first position so it will start from one so again if you, it will found cat it will make two and if it don't found cat it will make zero you know something like that not zero i think uh, uh yeah it should be zero yeah it should be zero or okay so how we are gonna keep track uh, track that it is a consecutive vertex so into c of i plus c of i this c of i will firstly uh you know if c of i is equal to zero this completely becomes zero that, that i told you that for example you will start from this one if this two is again uh vertex which is containing okay. cat and one is also containing cat so now after this point your m value will become two hmm. and depending on that if k is equal to two yeah you know this uh uh this is bit uh because if you given a uh, number of uh, vertex that you can have is also two you will just return it and uh, if it's not uh, one if it's zero like in this case it will be zero basically this is the way to keep track of the consecutive amount of cat if it's zero then it means now at this vertex cat is not there so uh from the next vertex onwards you can start from the fresh beginning zero so that's why i made it completely zero if it is one then basically you will say okay what was previous m like take that previous m and plus the one into it that's all about it if m becomes greater than your k you will return it that's about it uh flag variable was important part basically to suggest whether it's a leaf vertex or not if it is going inside this figure if some vertex which is not visited and i will make flag equal to one sorry flag equal to zero now if still your flag is one which means this was my leaf node a plus plus and a equal to zero and n k a i will return a that's not that's return that's but just c out a and that's about it let's test this up the only important part was how to keep track of this consecutive you know uh, vertex containing this cat so this is the way what is the error bits laga do.
anything else okay okay mm. input c dot resize you took the c yeah that's correct and this is creating graph visited initialization dfs calling on zero m is basically should not go at any point it should not go beyond k if you found consecutive vertices you will uh, record the previous value of m and then plus one into that you know because this is a tricky part because over here how will you have a previous value of m like at its parent node what was the value of m maybe you can store it in some way but the best thing is this logic key m into c of i whether c of i is one so we will carry that previous m otherwise we will not carry this previous m it will just become zero right that's about it let's try to sum this up Hmm. Accepted as you can see. Accepted as you can see. Okay, guys. Okay, bye.